Welcome to San Diego Comic Con. We're here with Liza and Michael, stars of the new show, Hamster and Gretel. How are you guys doing today? We're doing good. Yeah, we're, we're chilling, man. You yeah. know, this is the vibe. This is the perfect place to do that, right? Like, yeah. Dude, this is so crazy. <laughs> this is huh? crazy. No stimuli whatsoever. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It's, yeah, there's like literally nothing going on. I mean, here at maybe, all. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe not for you guys. I know you guys have been going back and forth between between places, but it's 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 a good time because you get to celebrate your new show with all the fans and you get yes. to see their reaction. And you know, we've been in a pandemic for so so long that you know we don't you don't get to see that human human interaction. No, for sure. Yeah, I, I mean, this is the first time I've done something like this since like the pandemic. Like yeah. this, it's so cool. And like, I mean, look, we got a nice view of the water. You see yeah, what I'm saying? We got the boats. You know, it's great. It's great. We got seagulls diving, killing fish. It's relaxing out here. Um, no, but it is a good time. And we all get to meet in person for the first time. We yeah. all individually recorded. This is the first time? First yeah, time. this is the first time we're meeting. Wait, look at this. We got bands around. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Isn't that so crazy? That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's so nice. So it's that's nice. That's it's that's nice that's to be in person. So what can you tell me about your characters in the show? You want to go for you right? You pointed the mic? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Veronica Hill. She is a reporter. Okay. So I'm kind of jealous of what you're doing right now. Uh, I would, as a method actress, I kind of want to take that from you. Uh, but no, she's a reporter on the show. She reports on everything uh, that Hamster and Gretel go through, all the villains that they're fighting. Sometimes she dates the villains. She has problems. They're deeply rooted. And uh, yeah, that's Veronica Hill. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm playing Kevin, who is uh, Gretel's older brother, who okay. basically thought he was going to get superpowers, but didn't. So now he's like kind of like... They're, um, he's like the, the superhero manager, you know what I mean? Like, he's okay. like driving him around, making sure that everything's all good, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure, I'm sure there's a few fun stories there, you know? Yeah, yeah, he's, he's the guy in the room. You yeah. know, like how they always have, they the always guy, have to have the a guy in the chair. You yes, know? the guy in the chair, bro. Yeah, he's the guy in the chair. He's yeah. the guy with the headset. Yes. yes. Oh, that's yes. <laughs> that's but him. except it's a minivan. So it is a chair, but I'm in a minivan. That is awesome. That yeah. is awesome. Now, getting, great, getting to work with Dan, I mean, he had, you know, amazing show with Phineas and Ferb. Does he give you a lot of creative control with your character? as far as where you want to take them? He relinquishes control. Like, yeah. he, like, is fully such a collaborative, creative human being who's, like, go in the booth, yell, scream, give me some crowd, voila, like, have fun. Yeah, yeah. And that's what allows, you know, our energy to seep through into these characters and, like, give them the life that he's encouraging us to give them. So, yeah, he really just, like, gives us a blank canvas. He has an outline of what he wants, and then, you know, he has particular things that he's, like, looking for, but you can give him a whole different other creative and he'll go with you. Like, he's willing to go for the ride. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, Dan is honestly like so collaborative like well, so I'll be like hey Dan can I just like try something like after we get like a good take he's like yeah go for it and like I'll just say like something that is like completely different and yeah. if he thinks it's funny he's like yeah let's keep it that's like awesome. that's like not something that you get to do a lot and like it's so appreciated and it, it just I feel like it makes the show that much better yeah. you know that's awesome I know that uh, your sister in the show is a big fan of yours and she loves playing your sister uh, what's it like working with her and how's the dynamic going <laughs> Smelly is so sweet like I, I honestly like I met her recently for the first time in like real life just recently because Dan I went to Dan's house and we were doing some stuff for the show and it was like so cool to actually just like meet her in person and she was like so shy and we took pictures together and I was just like I was blushing on the inside because it's like it's, she's so sweet like she's so sweet That's awesome. now Liza you dominated Vine you dominated YouTube oh Press lines. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm trying to learn off you. I'm trying to get okay. where you're at. Right. And now you're doing some voice act, uh, voice uh, acting. What, what is, what's the most interesting thing about doing that? Is there any like any difficulties that you've had while doing it? Yeah, I feel like I'm still new to the game, and I'm lucky to be a player in it. Uh, but I, I started doing it more so in the pandemic when we were all shut into our homes, and the only thing you could do was be in your closet and just record. Uh, and I've been having so much fun. I actually, it's like one of his first times I think in the show doing voice acting rather than live action. Yeah. I mean, yeah. he's a beast at both. Oh, clearly, yeah. but like I, I was not like that my first time around. I felt like I was so monotone, and it took very creative, amazing directors like Dan who encouraged me to be like, "Yo, give inflection, yeah. yeah. You got to emote. Like yeah. when you're in the booth, you you're emoting. Like moving around. <laughs> yeah. like, you know. I look crazy. I actually yes. grip a pencil no, the yes. whole time. I, I, look <laughs> you, I look psycho. I, get it. I just scream and yell and jump I get around. It. Yeah, it's I get. I come out sweating. Like I should wear like a Apple Band or something to count my calories. I'm burning. Not in the there. Apple Band. Not the Apple Band. Not so at the start of this were you guys recording in, in your, like your closets and just trying to get everything going or were you able to get in the studio while shooting? So I recorded in a studio by my house, but like nobody was ever there. You took just, the budget. Yeah. I was in the closet. I was in the studio. I was in the studio. I made it. Yeah, no, yeah. So I just literally just, I, I would just basically do it and they would just like zoom in and we just do it over Zoom. That was awesome. Yeah. yeah, same. I auditioned in my closet and then I... Yes, you know, recorded in the studio. Now, what's yeah, yeah. one thing that you were excited for fans to see when the show, all the episodes come out? 
Ooh. You don't have to. T you don't have to spoil anything about teas. You know, like maybe a little tease. Yeah. Honestly, you just different super villains with different superpowers than you've ever seen. Yeah, like, I, absurd. I, yeah, absurd references. Just fun. I don't know. What, what would you say? I, I feel like if this show is just like filled with like a lot of unique characters, and it's not formulaic. Like I feel like a lot of kid shows can be really formulaic, and like it sucks when that happens. And it, it doesn't feel that way. It's every character is unique, and, and it, there's like a different story to be told at the, at the end of every episode. So yeah, I, I enjoy that. That's you, awesome. You accidentally learn something too. It sneaks it in. You yeah, know, yeah, it's exactly. not down your throat. It's like oops. Yeah. I'm better. 